What we're going to take a look at right now is how do we create links within our page. Now in order to create links within our page we actually need two things and this is what they are. All of the objects that we are linking to need to have an ID. Okay, and IDs are actually important. We're going to really become familiar with IDs as we get into building websites. So let's start getting familiar with them now. And also it's going to need to have a fragment identifier. Okay. All right. So those two words will make sense in about a cup in about four minutes. So hopefully this will only take me about four minutes to do. All right. So what do I mean? And I, as you can see, I've started uh, creating some links within the page. I'm going to start by showing you what this actually means. I'm going to preview this in Safari. Okay. So what we can see is that uh, when I come and click italicize, okay, see how it brings me right to italicize. And this really makes sense. I do email links. It brings me down to this email links. Not so, so far. But let's see as we start to put other things in if it does. Okay. So what I had to do was, oh, and I want to get it back into Dreamweaver. All right, so each one of these, bold in HTML, okay, it actually has an ID, all right? And this ID... I thought an ID. Let me see. Okay, good. Italicize. See when I click on this, this it, these all were heading threes, and they have an ID. Okay, so I click on this one. I need to name this one bold. Okay, I click on this. Italicize. Okay, now let's take a look what happens that come into split. What you'll see is see how heading. This is in heading three. The ID equals bold in quotation marks. I come to heading three, ID, italicize, that's the ID. So what happens is uh, Dreamweaver will come and actually the web, not even Dreamweaver, the web will look for this ID within the quotes. Okay, we always know that it's code too because it's in the blue, okay? Um, all right, so let's go back to our design view. Let's keep moving through. I named this italicize. Let's come to this one. Let's name this. Now, I don't, I, spaces aren't going to work. I cannot have spaces. No spaces, no capital letters. Bold and italicize. Now, it's important to remember how know how to spell it uh, because if it's spelled wrong, it won't work. Okay, let's come to block quote. Okay, look, I have a space in there. So I'm going to try this. I already know it's not going to work. I need to get rid of my caps. And, um, and it, you know, it might work in one browser, but not in another. So stay away from capital letters and um, special characters. I'm going to put this one in. Let's name, oh, I'll come to here. Okay, we'll say absolute and relative. Now I need to remember what I named everything. All right, so let's give it a shot. Now let's come on in. And uh, I named that one absolute and relative. Now I'm going to highlight this, which I should come off of here. All right, so all right, let's come on up into here. All right, if I highlight this, now I'm going to come in. I'm going to say where my link is. All right, it looks like I don't want that to be named that. And what I do in order to, to get to this, this would be my fragment identifier. I'm going to come in, I'm going to put the number sign. And I don't even remember what I had. Highlight, let me highlight this. Bold and italicize. All right, so now I'm going to come in here. I'm going to put this number sign in. Bold and italicize. I did something wrong because I don't know why it's being named bulb. Now it's not. All right, now I'm going to come in. I put this number sign in, block quote. Let's come on into here. Let's try this. Number sign, special characters. Absolute and oops, relative. I named this one the same thing. Absolute and relative. All right, let's see if I did the email one yet. 
Okay, I actually know that I did the email one because when I click on it, I can see that I linked it to the fragment identif to the ID of email. Again, I can go back through, I can check what I have done. Okay. All right, I did something here. I, I, I think I put the ID in incorrectly. Um, let me see if this one, when I come to here, heading three bold, when I come to here, heading three italicize, heading three bold and italicize, heading three block quotes. See, I have these div IDs, special characters, absolute and relative. And if I come down, email is going to be named mail. Okay, let's preview it and see if it works. Now again, actually, before I do that, let's take a look at what the code looks like for our um, for for these links. Again, it's going to be the same. All of these links in the HTML are going to look the same. The difference is going to be how we're identifying it within the quotation marks. Okay, so when it's within the page, it will have the number sign in it. Okay, so again, there there are we could say there's four real different kind of links: absolute links, which go directly to a web page, relative links, which are within a folder within a site. Okay. We have links, uh, fragment identifiers when we're linking within a page and then email links. And there are more too, but those are, um, some of the ones I went over a lot of those in the last video. All right, let's preview it. We're going to preview it. Actually, hold on. Let's preview it in Safari. Okay, there we go. It brought us down that far, brought us right there. Okay. Block quote, bold and italicize, bold. There we have it. Thanks for listening.